Ding, ding, ding. That's exactly correct. And you want to know why? Because conservative men view education, empathy, caring about your career, caring in general, appreciation for the arts, books, travel, they view those as feminine, sensitive qualities. And they hate women. All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about one of my favorite subjects, which is gym etiquette that has become a culture war battle as men are fed up with some of these feminist fitness influences in the gym trying to call out men for being creepy or calling out men for just having proper gym etiquette or trying to be a gentleman or trying to be nice to them right because that is a trend uh that has emerged on social media mainly tiktok of women trying to gain clout by calling out men who are simply trying to help them in the gym doing things for women that they, they would probably also do for men okay um and one fitness influencer uh mr joey schwoll has went viral uh calling out the women that are trying to call out and expose men for being creepy in the gym and uh let's just say he's made a few of these uh women cry right he's made them boohoo and cry uh because he's called them out on their bs we got a big sponge for a reason i'm sorry for crying i shouldn't be crying because every time i start crying they start making comments about me trying to play the victim uncomfortable <laughs> that's so fucked it makes me really sad like that so There's so many people out there that are just willing to just <laughs> trust what this person is saying. He doesn't even know me. Oh, I would respect him so much more if he would have had a conversation with me. Try to get the full, full context of the video. But, you know, the fact that he's just using my content to try to... <laughs> whatever the fuck he's doing, it's it's really embarrassing and it, and it sucks. Right? Uh, now, the mob is coming after uh, Joey Swole and alleging that he is a misogynist for calling out women uh, who call out men in the gym, right? They're saying that, he, that is misogyny, right? You have uh, tweets like this. And we're going to play a video here in a, in a minute. He says, uh, Joey Swole is building a platform on the idea that women can't be trusted in gyms because they're uh, hysterical slash vain. His... Uh, QTs are full of incels uh, calling women misogynistic slurs, which he doesn't address. The way this is, it, the way this ends is someone feels entitled to attack a woman at the gym. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, we got people crying misogyny because Joey Swole is calling out some of these uh, TikTok Insta gym thoughts on some of their um, very toxic behavior in the gym when it comes to uh, trying to uh, call out men, okay, who are simply, uh, you know, using proper gym etiquette. Um, however, there's a problem, right? And, and, and the problem is, is that Joey Swole actually has called out men as well, too, who are actually being creepy or mistreating women in the gym. Take a look. At a local gym, this man is held back by others while verbally attacking a female gym goer. This is absolutely disgusting, disturbing, and just so sad to see because this is not what the gym community is about. To this young woman, I am so sorry that this happened to you. Please don't let this discourage you from going to the gym. Nobody deserves to be yelled at or spoken to in that manner, whether at the gym or anywhere. And all because of what? Because you were taking too long on the sit machine? I don't care how long you take. Nobody has the right to come up and yell and berate you like that. A simple conversation could have handled this. The gym is a shared space. You have to talk to others. You have to interact. Do so with kindness and remain calm. Excuse me, miss. How many sets do you have left? How much longer do you have? Would you mind hurrying up? Boom. This never happens. And it's also really, really sad to see those three gentlemen standing there allowing this to happen and doing nothing. Please know that if I was there and so many others, we would have had your back and we would have stopped. Yeah, so this guy has smoke for both sides, yet he's still being labeled 
a misogynist, okay? He's being called a misogynist. But you have people like Drew Afalo, who's literally made a career out of body shaming men and roasting men on the internet. Uh, and nobody ever has anything to, to say about it. Whatever the f*** you want to do with your body, nobody's stopping. Ah, that's where that should have stopped. That's where this garbage video should have ended. Unfortunately for all of us, it did not. But that's okay, because the universe brought you to me. <laughs> I cleared a spot for you, brother. I cleared my sketch. Because you came from my fucking girl, Tess. Not on my watch. <laughs> First of all, let's get this out of the way. Tess Holliday is one of the most famous models in the world. Did you hear what I said? In the world, bitch. Keep to the Instagram and all your <clears throat> garbage content. And I can tell from your pictures that you're strong 5'5". Five five, like, on a good day. And I'm guessing from those feet that your shoe size is probably what? Like an 8, eight and a half? Yeah. <laughs> if it can't make it past the cheeks, you could just say that, bro. Oh, yeah. Just as I suspected. By theory, once again, prove it. Because the sun is setting on that hairline. <laughs> Do you own a mirror? Like, that's my only question. <laughs> I know you can see. Because you got saucers for eyes. Look how easy it is to lie. You look super tall. Do you come from a tall family? I bet you come from a long line of strong hairlines, huh? What's under that hat? I bet you a full head of hair. You're telling me that that is not the lollipop brigade? <laughs> Why are y'all so little? <laughs> Spray painted on hairline too. Bro, got to here. <laughs> he also posted a picture with his sister and he's barely taller than her. How tall is your sister? Like 5'5"? Five five? That would make you what? 5'6"? Yeah, rest my case. <laughs> hey, take a good look at this pic, buddy. Cause you're staring down the barrel at the future of that hairline. Alas, there are a bunch of other short balding uggos in your comments. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. TikTok and social media will never, ever, ever ban a woman who literally makes a living off of roasting and body shaming men, okay? Uh, no, that is brave, right? That's totally fine because she's a woman, allegedly, okay? Um, totally okay, okay? There will never be think pieces about whether or not she's promoting hatred towards men. Is she a misandrist, right? Is she promoting misandry, okay? You'll never hear that, but Joy Swole who holds both sexes accountable for bad behavior, uh, they're going to be think pieces like uh, on him, uh, and, and people are going to basically accuse him of promoting, you know, sexism or misogyny in the gym because he's trying to hold people accountable for, you know, proper gym etiquette. Amazing stuff. Now, again, th there are some more balanced takes on uh, kind of th this uh, these accusations of, of misogyny uh, that have been thrown at, at Joey Swole. Let let's actually take a look at this one. This man does nothing wrong. Here's the issue that Joey is running into right now. I'm a fan of Joey. I followed him for a long time. I love him and I do not believe that he as an individual is a misogynist or is intentionally promoting any kind of negative gym treatment towards women at all. Not even a little bit. The issue that he's running into right now is that he is empowering by defending man after man after man after man after man after man in all these videos where women are saying we feel uncomfortable. He is giving such a loud voice to all these men. If you go on his Instagram, if you go on his TikTok, it is just flooded, flooded with men commenting, yeah, exactly, speaking facts is now equated to misogyny. I mean, <laughs> it kind of is, right? Speaking facts is kind of equated to misogyny, like saying that men and women are different, right? Men and women are not equal, right? Apparently, that is misogyny, right? I'm just saying, <laughs> speaking facts is misogyny nowadays. You know, if I just look at a girl and she's going to get all hot and bothered and blah, 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 blah. What this does is this narrative is taking over um, what Joey's actually intending to do, which is to keep the gym a safe and equitable space. If you are going to have a platform, if you're going to have millions of people listening to you, including a lot of gym bro types, you need to be very aware of the misogynistic patriarchal culture that we are all living in. <laughs> It's not about women crying and whining and trying to get attention and try. No, that, that is what it's about. That's 100% what it's about. Okay. And if you're making these, you don't need to be aware of any type of patriarchal, patriarchal or misogynistic culture. You don't need to be aware of any of that. Uh, facts are facts. The truth is the truth, right? 
equal criticism is equal criticism. Um, it doesn't matter what you think about the rest of, uh, of society. You know, this kind of reminds me of what they did to Kevin Samuels, right? Kevin Samuels roasted men before he started roasting women. Nobody gave a damn about Kevin Samuels roasting men, right? Because you're supposed to be able to just roast men. Like, nobody gives a damn about Drew Afalo roasting men because it's totally fine to roast men. Again, these people, these feminists that claim they want equal rights, <laughs> right? Uh, they don't want equal treatment when it comes to, uh, you know, responsibility and accountability, okay? So when you start roasting women, okay, and trying to hold them accountable for toxic behavior, now it's a problem, right? It's a big, big, big problem. It's just funny how that works. And that's why I'm so fascinated by this whole, you know, gym topic because uh, you, you kind of seeing that play out here trying to get views all the time. Are there some of those videos? Sure. But I am 32 years old. I have been graped twice. I have been essayed multiple times in personal life and professional life. I have been scared. I have been stalked. I have been chased home. I have been followed. Like my story is exactly like most other women I know. And so if you are going to be creating this content, you need to do so with caveats and with an understanding of the historical and societal context that we are living in. You know, this is the same argument the wokes use to accuse everybody white of being racist, right? This is the same argument they use. Well, you know, in the past, black people were treated like such and such and such by whites. So therefore, people need to be uh, aware of the historical context of this, that, and the other. And it's like, no, no, no. You're just excusing bad behavior. That's all you're trying to do. Saying that, well, women have been assaulted and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, men have been assaulted too, right? Men have been graped as well too. Um, does that give men the right to, you know, I don't know, try to expose women as being creepy in the, in the gym for clicks and likes? I don't think so, right? I don't think that would be right. Just like it's not right for women to do it. Um, again, this whole, well, we're victims thing. Therefore, we should be able to get away with it. You got to be careful about how you expose us, how you talk about us. I don't know about that, bro. I'm just not into that. It is your obligation to understand those nuances and to teach your audience about them. No, it's not. <laughs> right? No, it's not at all because it's not about any of that. It's not about that. You're making it about that because, again, women, according to her, are, are victims, right? They're victims. So you, you got to, you know, be careful how you say things, right? When you're telling the truth. You got to be careful about the truth. And I do know that he says, you know, he has as, just as many videos that are critiquing men in the gym as critiquing women. And I actually believe that. However, I have not run this data, but I would love to see someone do it. I think the majority, the vast majority of his videos are defending men. So he's defending men against men and he's defending men against women, which also is fine. Do that. Be the defender of men in the gym. Be the defender. But I literally just <laughs> posted a video. I just showed you guys a video of him defending a woman against a man. You can't satisfy these people. <laughs> you really can't. Of like incel gym bros, whatever, but do so with an intelligent, nuanced approach to what women have gone through and why women might feel threatened or scared. They're not threatened or scared. They're just clout chasers, right? They're just clout chasers and they don't respect proper gym etiquette. And dude, address your freaking comment section. It's disgusting. <laughs> this man. <laughs> See what I mean? Again, even when you can acknowledge, okay, he's not misogynistic or whatever, uh, there's still issues. It's well, everybody in your comment section is is misogynistic, right? Society is, uh, you know, patriarchal and misogynistic. So therefore, uh, you got to be careful what you say, right? Even though you're you're telling the truth. Is it, again, it's amazing how that works. Um, I, I don't think that it, it is misogyny to hold women accountable. I, I think that's what this is all about. I think that's what a lot of this backlash is, is that women don't like getting a taste of their own medicine, being accountable for their toxic behaviors, right? But they want men to be held accountable for alleged toxic, toxic behavior or toxic masculinity or whatever. Just another example how a lot of these women, a lot of these feminists, really don't believe in equal rights. They really don't. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.